left of the box. Pierre Polyev, the leader of the Federal Conservative Party here in Canada, is a dork. He, he, he is a loser beyond comprehension. And yet he's still playing that faux populist. You know, he, he claims to be a populist, but he's a millionaire, a landlord, all, all of the stuff. He got his pension in his early 30s. He's been a lifelong politician. He is fake beyond belief. And he's so uncharismatic. It is it is painful watching him. I saw an ad on my phone earlier this morning when I was lying in bed still trying to wake up. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how bad this ad was that the official party channel put out there. Like they spent money, time and energy on this. And so, because it is such a gem, we're going to go through it twice. And you see, the reason why we're going to go through it twice is, well, here, let's do this first, just to show you. So Rachel Gilmore, an independent reporter here in Canada, fantastic person, ratio hard and deleted, tra tragic. This ad was so bad that after all the money and everything, they, they, they took it down. They deleted it. And she says, guess you can only go so hard on the hyper-nationalism before people notice something they couldn't quite, white, put their finger on. And so I was looking at that and I was like, oh no, it's gone. I can't show you guys this work of art. Um, the internet is forever. So there's two versions that we're going to watch because uh, one is just the straight ad, like it's just the ad. And the second version, going to go back to the main shot for a second, the second version is the ad again, but somebody putting in some commentary as you go along because this is just so wild. This is so wild, but I dare you not to laugh during this ad and I've already lost. Um, Shall we watch the ad? So somebody, fortunately, had the foresight to copy it and put it on his uh, YouTube channel. He only has 36 subscribers and this video has gotten way more views than most of my videos have. And it's just the ad. It is the, this is not the edited ad. This is literally what they put on. <laughs> and so, Tom St. Dennis was the bright individual that's like, I need to make a copy of this because he had the foresight to know that it was about to come down. Again, this was a real ad on the channel, I kid you not. And it's easy to forget what home and hope look like. So let me paint the picture. First of all. Okay, can we get Die Worker Guy on this? The white cowboy hat and white shirt? With common sense in like a western font? <laughs> with a little cowboy hat in between two of the common sense. Is this real? Like, already you're wondering, is this real? The sunglasses just hanging off there, looking all nice and natural. <laughs> but it's like, seriously, his skin is only one shade darker than white hat and, and t-shirt. Is it? No, it's like a golf shirt. It's like a cowboy hat and a golf shirt. We need dye worker guy on this right now. Who wears a white cowboy hat? Like, they're meant to get dirty. So, Pierre Polyev saying, let me paint the picture of, uh, and since I've already, it's only five seconds in and I couldn't hold it together. So let's start from the beginning. And it's easy to forget what home and hope look like. So let me paint the picture of school children, boys and girls, being welcomed by their teacher at the front of the school as they walk in to learn about reading, writing, arithmetic, and our proud history 
Before walking in the door, though, they look back at Dad in his pickup truck, who's dropped them off. He rolls down that suburban street with his windows open in the schools. God forbid you have something else other than that pickup truck that is just so Canadian. You know, if you really want to do that nationalistic thing, you need a dog sled. <laughs> Wait, what? Pickup truck? You're not a real Canadian. <laughs> you know, you're not a real Canadian unless you're taking your kids to school via dog sled. What are you, Pierre Polyev? An American? Actually, he's a dual citizen, so yes zone driving slowly so that he can hear that beautiful crackling sound of hammers pounding nails into Canadian lumber. Is, is there like a channel for nail hammering ASMR? Is that a thing? Is it really a thing? On newly built and affordable Canadian homes. So he gets the to the gas station. He fills his tank with affordable and lower taxed Canadian made energy. He makes his way out into the countryside where he's going to go and service a well. And he looks out his windows and sees those big prestigious barley or canola Prestigious barley or canola fields. Ah, uh, my green fell out. Let's see if I can slip that back in. Um... Yeah, yeah, this is what I see whenever I'm out driving, is uh, barley fields and canola fields. Darn it! Here, I'm just going to take them both out so it's symmetrical. There we go. And yeah. <laughs> this is what real Canadians want to see when they look out the window. Canola fields, the combines out there doing their work, the cattle grazing on the countryside, producing the best food from the best farmers anywhere on earth. And he looks up and what does he see? He sees a brand new fighter jet. They're doing a training mission in the sky, getting ready to... We'll get to it. We'll get to it. But wait till you find out. <laughs> when we get to the, um, the commentary version of... <laughs> Defend our home and native land. The same plane is soon seen from a university campus where kids are hustling off to class, maybe a bit late, having. I'm sorry, this is like the whitest stock footage I have ever seen. Just procrastinated on that university essay, knowing that when they get to class, they will have the chance to debate freely and fearlessly without worry of being censored. So long as you don't say free Palestine and set up an encampment trying to protest the genocide. Later in the day, that whole family of the student, that welder, the kids, moms and dads come together for a big family celebration because it's been 10 years since one of the adult kids in the family has been sober and overcome his drug addiction. And they gather around the table to have a big... Okay, so I know why he threw that in there, but really, because uh, I need to save this for the commentary version and just let this play out. I, I need, I still have stuff to say about this, but I need to let it play out. And then in the commentary version, I'll mention what I was about to say. Big, beautiful dinner to celebrate. Some wonderful venison that was shot with totally legal Canadian firearms. And they sit and they talk about their beautiful past, but even more so about their optimistic future. <laughs> and as the little ones conk off, and it's time to take them home, grandma and grandpa see them off to the car, and the car leaves the driveway, and they turn and they look west. And what do they see? They see wheat, foothills, Rockies, and a big blue twilight sky. And they look each other in the eye, and they say, we're home. These are our people. That is our country. This is our home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home. Really? 
real ad. That was a real ad. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that was the that was the whitest thing I had ever seen. And I'm just like, did he have like a high school drama teacher coach <laughs> have to say this monologue? But uh somebody uploaded it again. So this was the first refound version that I got that just had some brilliant commentary to go along with it. So we're going to watch it again because why not? Why it's a masterpiece. It is just the best thing ever. <laughs> Like, you know, if the conservatives keep on producing stuff like this, then maybe, just maybe, they'll win. Convince them of that. Convince Pierre Polyev that this is the caliber of ads he needs to continue posting daily until the next election, and he will for sure win. Uh, so, uh... Just somebody just saying, you know, why did they delete this tweet? And then somebody here found it. And I think this one was super loud, but uh, let's. And it's, and it's easy to forget what home and hope look like. So let me paint the picture of school children, boys and girls. See that? Th this is actually, yeah, it's American stock footage, what you're seeing right there. We'll get to another thread where they went through this. Almost none of these images are from Canada. Almost none of them are actually Canadian. And some of them in the most ridiculous way possible. But yeah, this is American right there. That that's uh but he is, you know, a dual citizen, so I guess that makes sense that he would uh, conflate the two so much. Girls being welcomed by their teacher at the front of the school as they walk in to learn about reading, writing. Oh, can you see that? Okay, I might have to shrink this. So he's saying, so are you saying that doesn't happen now when it comes to the reading, writing, history? arithmetic and our proud history. Before walking in the door though, they look back at dad in his pickup truck who's dropped them off. He rolls they down that. Yeah, weren't they? Weren't they just on the bus? They were just on the bus, yeah? But now they're they're looking back at their pickup truck. Down. In his pickup truck, who's dropped them off, he rolls down that suburban street with his windows open in the school zone, driving slowly so that he can hear that beautiful crackling sound of hammers pounding nails into Canadian lumber on newly built and affordable Canadian homes. How autistic would you have to be to be able to discern what kind of wood is being hammered into by sound alone? <laughs> Just wondering. When he gets to the gas station, he fills his tank with affordable and lower taxed Canadian made energy. He makes his way out into the countryside. Just, I'm loving this commentary down there. It's coming by really fast, but just things like, oh, so now it's dark. Oh, it's actually more like ta uh, corporate taxes that are, you know, uh, marking up the price of gas and energy and stuff. Um, the taxes are from corporate markups. So the increases are there. It's just, yeah. Made energy. He makes his way out into the countryside where he's going to go and service a well. And he looks out his windows and sees those big prestigious barley or canola fields. The combines out there doing their work. The cattle grazing on the countryside, producing the best food from the best farmers anywhere on yeah, and I'll give you that one too. Um, when I was traveling to Alberta and stuff, when I had like some beef from a local farm, oh, it was so good, so good. You know, local bought uh, food, food it is the best, it is the best, you know. So, you know, some of the best food, uh huh, when you go to local farms and stuff and get your food. I'm fortunate, I live close to a farmer's market. So, when I have the money, I can go there and, oh, some of the best like meats and cheeses and homemade stuff on earth and he looks up and what does he see he sees a brand new fighter jet they're doing a training it's 
stock footage of Soviet made SU-24 and MIG. So many people were pointing this out right off the bat because there are people autistic enough to know from that what kind of fighter jet that is. The Russians! It's the Russians! ...mission in the sky, getting ready to defend our home and native land. The same plane is soon seen from a university campus where kids are hustling off to class, maybe a bit late. Hustling off, he's sitting around. Late, ...having just procrastinated on that university essay, knowing that when they get to class, they will have... I love the commentary under this, I really do. ...have the chance to debate freely and fearlessly without worry of being censored. You see, that's where we have a little bit of difference saying like anyone can right now all over Canada debate freely and fairly. Um, technically speaking, as long as you're not pro-Palestinian, yes. <laughs> but if you are pro-Palestinian, no. But that's not what Pierre Polyev would ever consider or think of. Censored. Later in the day, that whole family of the student, that welder, the kids, moms and dads come together for a big family celebration because it's been 10 years since one of the adult kids in the family has been sober and overcome his drug addiction and they gal- So they're drinking all of this alcohol to celebrate the 10 year sobriety. <laughs> all of this alcohol, all the wine and stuff and then and, and and whatnot to celebrate the 10 year sobriety. Now, the other thing I wanted to point out about that too is Pierre Polyev wants to shut down all safe consumption sites, which would help people reach those sobriety goals. But he, he wants to shut them all down. So it would be much more difficult for people to stay 10 years without alcohol or drugs, without, you know, some of these safe consumption sites for people. Dads come together for a big family celebration because it's been 10 years since one of the adult kids in the family has been sober and overcome his drug addiction. And they gather around the table to have- Again, people can get over their drug addictions better if they're safe consumption sites, which Pierre Polyev is adamantly saying he wants to get rid of all of them because he calls them drug dens. He calls them drug dens. And that only, you know, undesirable criminals, bad people go to them. But here he is having it in his script like it's the most natural thing ever. Have a big, beautiful dinner to celebrate. Some Sorry, it just... Can anyone hear anyone say big, beautiful anymore without thinking of Trump? Is that possible? Is it possible for for some of the say it was big and beautiful? You know, this is a big and beautiful can of Diet Coke. Is it possible to hear that without thinking of Donald Trump anymore? Some wonderful venison that was shot with totally legal Canadian firearms, and they sit. <sighs> That's good. Yeah, they shouldn't use illegal firearms in order to be shooting venison. They talk about their beautiful past, but even more so about their optimistic future. The past. It was a beautiful past. It was the best past ever. It was like the biggest, best, most beautiful past possible. And I was the greatest at that past. The beautiful past. The best past. Future. And as the little ones conk off, and it's time to take them home. To me, when I hear conk off, I don't think somebody has fallen asleep. I think someone was hit over the head. Like you conk someone on the head. So after you knock your kids out and have them go walking. Grandma and grandpa see them off to the car. And the car leaves the driveway. Is it a car, a bus, or a truck that they're using? They turn and they look west. And what do they see? They see wheat, foothills, 
Rockies, and a big blue twilight sky. And they look each other in the... I'm just saying, here in Ontario, when I look west, I don't see the Rockies. It's, uh, it's a little bit of a stretch there. Uh, I don't see the Rockies from, from, from where I am. They're not that big. They're not that big. In the eye, and they say... And technically speaking, Lance from the Surfs, who lives in BC, if he looks west, he's not going to see the Rockies either. He's not. Because they, they would be on his east. We're home. These are our people. That is our country. This is our home. Your home. My home. Our home. Let's bring it home. How is this possible? Oh, is this possible? They made this into an ad. They posted it. And so here we have um, from Disordered, a, a Twitter account. If you're making a video about Canada we know and love, maybe you shouldn't be using pictures of Utah's Rockies or the foothills of Indonesia. And so here's their thread of areas. So this is not... Um, a final, I guess, What what what's a complete... There could be others. This was just the ones that they could confirm. So the elementary classroom was filmed in Serbia. Serbia. Apparently there's nothing more Canadian than a driving pickup, than driving a pickup truck through an American suburb. Location USA. Typical American video. <laughs> Stock footage. <laughs> Paid seventy four dollars for this. <sighs> Newly built Canadian home in Slovenia. How much is shipping going to cost? Uh, details on the, the thing. Stock video. Stock video of Slovenia. The Canadian countryside of North Dakota, USA. Okay, I'll give you that one. It's close enough. Oh, this one would have cost them $79 in HD if they wanted in 4K, $179 Canadian, eh? How much money did they spend on this? Pretty sure Canadian cows, cattle don't graze in California. <laughs> Lens flare, warm evening sun shines on herd of cows grazing in grassy countryside HD stock feed. California sunset. I know Canada took a lot of Ukrainian refugees, but I don't know we took the entire campus building from uh, Kiev Polytechnique, uh, Ukraine to Canada. Also, um, did they use young, handsome Caucasian in their stock video search? That is, uh... Yeah, that looks about right there. That that is that is that is yeah. Portrait of confident, intelligent redhead student at sunset outdoors, young Caucasian handsome man closing laptop, singing and looking away at sundown. Just type into that search filter. Good looking white boy. The female hunter with Canadian firearms was filmed somewhere in the USA. Location USA. Uh, I, I, I don't know that many uh, Canadian hunters, but they probably, I'm guessing, don't, don't, don't chew with that. <laughs> Grandma and Grandpa are seen here in Richmond Park, London, England. It's going to be a long trip home. Not a problem in that pickup truck. 
grandparents and granddaughter are walking in the park for case doc video <laughs> richmond park london the great canadian foothills of uh wanosobo indonesia Okay, actually, now that I have it bigger on screen here and looking at it, I can tell you just at a glance, this is definitely not Canadian. Like, I don't recognize that landscape. Not that I know all the landscapes across the country, but there's something about style in everything that is just like, nah, that is saying Canadian. But yeah, Indonesia. Indonesia. If you can't figure out which Rocky Mountain range in Canada this is, you won't be the only one. That's because this is the Northern Utah, uh, Yunta Mountains. Like, literally, like, really, you couldn't find a clip of the Canadian Rockies. Like, that's the thing that's so sad about this, is that all the stock footage they wanted, you could have easily found Canadian sources. You could have said, hey, can somebody just go outside with their phone and look west and take a picture of the Rockies? Like, that's how easy it is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. So there's a lot of other clips that are definitely not from Canada, but couldn't confirm an actual location for them. So I left them out of the thread. Again, if you're making a video about Canada, we know and love, you should be using actual Canadian footage. <laughs> 